While I've been here at Dad's, I got a bunch of text messages from my boss, uh, from my friends, that Rowdy Roddy Piper has passed away. Sad. One of my really early wrestling memories, uh, I wasn't always a huge wrestling fan. And so one of my early memories, Dad, Grandpa was trying to get me to watch wrestling, and it was Halloween Havoc. And I remember that. Oh, Hulk Hogan, uh, I think he beat Macho Man. Yep. So he, Hulk Hogan had just oh, had a yeah. match. And next thing you know, the bagpipes started going off, and Dad went apeshit. Yeah. He went crazy. Piper! It's Piper! Piper. Yeah, really. <laughs> he, he, there he was, in full light, man. Boom. That's one regret I got, Piper. What? I never got to meet Roddy Piper. You know, back when I was... God, I must have been 20... 21, 22, something along there. Roddy Roddy Piper was a heel, right? Everybody hated Roddy Piper, man. He was bad. Well, Rowdy Roddy was on the streets of Charlotte, and some guy ripped off this old lady, grabbed her damn handbag, and started to run with it. Well, Roddy Piper grabbed it, beat his ass, and gave the woman back her pocketbook. Well, he didn't think nothing of it, you know, and he went on about his business. Well, every time he goes in the arena, the story got out about what he did. And Roddy Rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper, everybody, instead of booing him anymore, no matter what, he could have got there and shit the guy's face. They were, yeah, Roddy! All because he did the right thing and beat up a dude for stealing a woman's pocketbook. So he had no choice but to turn good. Everybody loved him. He couldn't do no wrong. And that's when I really started liking Roddy Piper myself. I used to love him to come out there and the kill, you know, and and blowing his bagpipes and then beating the hell out of people. I loved it. Mission Roddy.